Despite the recent CSGO updates still not removing the real capsules, it did actually end up removing one thing, the clutch case, and it ended up being one of the biggest spikes up we've ever seen in a day in the CS market. And the Steam market chart doesn't even do it proper justice because of how fast the move was. We actually got to well over 80 cents from the original 34 cents it was at during the day, but since then, fallen back down to around 40 cents. So how far can the clutch case climb? With the revolution case now having the same gloves does it really have any potential well before we get into it check out how to get a free five dollars training with the sponsor skins monkey skins monkey is a great way to get the actual value for your skin and not lose a lot of money while trading for skins that look great you can easily trade the junk you have sitting around for good investment items that can earn you money over time or trade for a knife that's been doing incredibly well price wise long term they're not hard to find at all and once again, free $5 bonus on your first trade when you sign up. Link at the top of the description. But for now, let's get back into it. Okay, so first off, let's talk about the clutch case fundamentals. Despite it having gloves, which you'd think would make it one of the least unboxed cases, the clutch case has been one of the most unboxed cases in CS for many, many months. Just in January, there was over 3 million of these cases unboxed. The only cases that even come close to it were the Dreams and Nightmares, slightly beating it, and the Recoil case with over 4.3 million. So just crazy numbers all around. But but still, the clutch case is one of the most hyped cases in the game and has been for a long time. Now, that's important because it means even though there's obviously tons of clutch cases in circulation because they got released in earlier 2018, that constant number of them being unboxed and the hype that's still there with them absolutely kept that number relatively low compared to other cases in the drop pool. And since people still should be unboxing them in pretty high quantities because they're still at that around 40 cent range, that should continue. But for comparison, the Horizon case got released right after the clutch case, but was eventually added added into the non-prime drop pool alongside a ton of other cases like the Gamma, Revolver, CS20 just to name a few and that non-prime drop pool got discontinued in June of 2021, moving all of those cases to the rare drop pool, meaning they barely get dropped anymore and definitely don't get dropped in an amount where you're gonna just see them get dropped ever. It's not an amount you really have to consider. And as you can see by their prices and just me pulling up the price trend here in the past couple of years, they've all gone ballistic and you would be pretty rich if you invested in them. But one interesting case is the Horizon, because despite it being one of the cheaper cases once again released after the clutch case and having a massive amount of supply, it still had really substantial gains, but a much cheaper price to start from. But it also has these same rare special items as the Danger Zone case, which was an active drop until only about a year ago, which is pretty recent. So despite having these same rare special items as the Danger Zone case and not exactly being a sought after case relative to anything, it's still got bought up, still had massive gains alongside the rest of the case market simply because there was cases being bought and unboxed over time and they weren't being dropped anymore really. And I think the clutch case is going to end up in a similar way. Even though it's got these same gloves as the new case that just got released, it's still been one of the most unboxed cases for absolute ages. People prove they like it, and I think the Revolution case is going to end up sitting at at least around that dollar range for a while for a couple of reasons. First off, good rare special items people like that are only in the clutch case, and two, it's got two really good covert skins that are bound to hold pretty solid prices each. It's very rare that we see a case with two prominent rifle skins and them both looking good, so I'm glad to see that and think that'll help the clutch case if anything. Also, just look at the recoil case for comparison. And how long that thing has managed to stay at its substantial price. It was still at like 70 cents last time I checked and it's been an active drop for quite a while. So 4 million of those being unboxed a month, you could see why. And with the clutch case having over 3 million unboxed a month, I could see that thing very easily increasing in price as well. And also something interesting mention is that Vice Gloves, the most sought after glove in these two cases now, despite being in the active drop clutch case, increased in price pretty significantly in this past year. So I think just bringing more attention to them is going to be good for those as well. It's very rare to see golds increase this much in a case in the active drop pool. So that's definitely another reason why I like the clutch case. But yeah, besides that, I think that's going to wrap it all up for this one so as always if you guys did enjoy don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new and of course check out skins monkey for that free five dollar bonus as well but for now i'll see you guys in the next one peace